Welcome back to the second installment of our favorites from 2013. This video is going to be skincare, hair care, and body care. So let's start with skincare cleanser. Um, I, you switch up between a few cleansers in the morning, but by far the most consistent star of my cleansing routine, which is what I use in the evening, is my Emma Hardy Moringa, Amazing Face Moringa Cleansing Balm. Mm. It's expensive, but and I said to myself I wasn't going to repurchase, but having tried a few other balms, nothing compares to the luxury of putting this on your face. It smells amazing, it's the most amazing emollient texture, it obviously does the job, and then some, leaves your skin feeling amazing. I think it's worth every single penny and I will continue to repurchase it. Mm. Mine, this is a new addition because I'd been using Cetaphil for the um, major part of the year and then my dermatologist informed me that it's actually quite drying so it might not be the best thing for my chronically dry skin. She recommended this Bioderma one which is a Sensi Bio cleansing milk for sensitive skin and I have loved it. It's fragrance free, it's um, really creamy and like it feels good to use on your skin but it's not heavy in any way and I've loved this so I'll definitely this is my new favorite cleanser oh, we should have done a pre-cleanse first let's do pre-cleanse now my pre-cleanse cleansing oil from uh, Dermalogica absolutely love it smells like heaven gets rid of oil makeup literally dissolves it off of your face so that when you then do wash your face with your cleanser and you wipe your face with your um, face cloth there's there's no makeup left on there it's, it's, mm. it's insane yeah, amazing. My favorite cleansing oil and the thing I use to take up or take off all of my face makeup at night is the Mac Cleanse Off Oil. This one is empty. Mm. I'm currently using the Body Shop one because I wanted to mm. trial it, but I like this, it. yeah, I know it is mm. good. Mm. This has got a slightly different texture, but this is the one that I use the whole year, as you can see, and I really, really love it. I think it's just actually a revelation in my skincare routine. Mm. Myself, using an oil to take up take off your makeup will change your life. Um, my uh, eye makeup remover, if I need to go back in and remove, is this one. I can get it from Dischem. It's called Bionica. Bionica. Never even heard of that. I know. My mom bought it for me and it's by phase um, and it is phenomenal. It's called Defense Eye. I don't think it's very expensive and it just, if I just hold it over any kind of stubborn mascara, this is the only thing that will get the Clinique mascara off bar oh, hot okay. water. It's phenomenal. Love it. I use Bioderma Sensi Bio Micellar Water to take off my makeup when I'm feeling too lazy to go through the whole routine of using the oil. Um, but again, it's another, I mean, it gets a lot of hype, it gets mentioned a lot on blogs and in videos, but it's worth it. I mean, it's amazing stuff. It's so gentle, it's so good for sensitive skin. It's basically like putting water on your face, it has some kind of magical makeup disappearing qualities. I mean, it's awesome. Love that, have loved it for years, and it'll be in every favorites video we ever do. <laughs> uh, serums. Um, I'm busy trialing a few daytime serums, so I don't have a favorite, but I do have a nighttime favorite, which is my Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. I love it. I use it every single night without fail. And then this isn't technically a serum, um, but I suppose in a way it is. I actually layer it on top of my ANR, and this is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. I've had this for, when did we get this? It was like middle of last middle, year? Yeah. And I've used probably a quarter of it. That much of it that's how far it goes because it's expensive but it lasts forever mm. so I pat that on over my a and I and it just leaves my skin feeling really lovely and soft the next morning and that's really good I love it um, I've to date never found a serum that worked well with my skin and then Julia and I went to a launch um, was it in November or October yeah. for Julia to Armand which I've done um, a post on on the blog and I decided to get these two serums, number seven and number three. Number three is a hyaluronic acid serum, which I use in the morning for extra hydration. And at night, this is this number seven, which is the multi-B vitamin serum, which is um, an anti-inflammatory serum. And I really, they've changed everything because <laughs> I don't have this chronic redness anymore, like the blemishes. I've stopped taking antibiotics and the blemishes seem to have... Really? Yeah. Oh. I stopped like in the, like November. Skin looks amazing. Yeah, because I've been on uh, tetracyclines for on and off for 10 years. Um, so I've been able to stop that. And I think it's actually maybe down to... The, well, a combination of things, but predominantly down to these two products. Yeah. So I'm obsessed. Hyaluronic acid is your best friend. It in really fact, is. why I didn't put What's hyaluron on this table, I don't know. Anyway... Hydrolyron, Without amazing. question, Hydrolyron would be my daytime other serum. daytime serum of choice. Yeah. I don't use it every day because my skin's oily. I don't mm. need massive amounts of hydration. But if, when I do get kind of dry patches or if the weather is a bit colder, I just feel like I want to inject a bit of moisture into my skin, then I use mm. that and it's amazing. Mm. Uh, moisturizer. What's next? Moisturizer. Yeah, again, I've got... Do you want I've to do got... toners? Because I don't do toners, but you've got some there. Oh, that's true. I use yeah. toners. So my... Um, 
I use a toning combo. Um, the Clarins Gentle Exfoliator Brightening Toner, which uses kind of um, fruit acids and um, is it glycolic? This I think so. I actually don't know. Alpha hydroxy acids. Oh, okay. So it uses AHAs to um, exfoliate your skin very gently, and then I follow up with this, which I freaking love. It's the Botanics Rose Water Toning Spritz, and it's an organic product. And it's not. I mean, it's nothing fancy. It's got one, two, three, four five, six products in it, so it's essentially just kind of glycerin and rose water, but what it does is it helps to inject a bit of moisture into your skin after using the um, exfoliating toner, so you leave this on for a minute, and then you follow up with a spritz of this, and it's also just, it smells delicious, mm. and it's just a lovely feeling, kind of spritzing it onto your face, I really love that, I actually have repurchased the bottle, this one's nearly empty, and this is empty, um, and then for moisturizer, I, the one I've used the most, again, I'm a bit of a moisturizer whore, I've got loads of them in my bathroom, but this one has been the best one, I'm not going to lie. This is the Clarins Hydra Matte Lotion for Combination Skin. It's the most long-lasting, it's not necessarily mattifying, but it does leave my skin looking natural without kind of this Being hectically fast. oily mm. situation happening. Um, it's just really good. What I don't like about it is this, I don't know what it's made of, it's like ceramic, which means I know when this runs out, it's got a little pump. There's going to be so much product inside here that I can't get, and I find that very irritating, and it's, that feels mm. like a bit of an annoying thing. But mm. it does a trick, and I've been very happy with it. My eye cream of choice, you don't use eye cream here. Mm -mm. Easily Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. Um, it's very moisturizing. The reason that I use this is because I don't use very heavy day creams. Um, my under eyes are kind of lacking in hydration a little bit, and that makes your concealer crease up. So I use this to combat that problem, and it really works. Mm. Um, I found that to be too rich. I ended up getting little red spots. Oh, like congestion? Yeah. yeah. It's too heavy for me. Um, just also on this topic of um, skincare, I use the Dermalogica Microfoliant. This is the only physical exfoliator that I use. It's brilliant. It uses kind of ground up rice, actually, to exfoliate your skin with a little bit of salicylic acid. This is a fantastic product. I use it maybe once or twice a week. Um, this is awesome. I love it. Mm. You know what I don't have with you is my Clarisonic. Definitely a favorite. Mm. Definitely. Mine's broken, so I'm hoping to get a new so one soon, <laughs> but anyway. Moisturizer. Um, this is also a late entry because for the most of the year I've been using Eucerin um, Hyaluronic Acid Day and Night Cream, which was great, but I think actually maybe too heavy because I was getting a lot of congestion and redness, and I don't think it was the right product for me at all. And then I got a sample, I've actually written about this in my December favorites, of this Ren um, Vitamin Mineral Radiance Day Cream. And um, it, phenomenal. It just helped ease the congestion, it made my skin appear more even, the dullness seems to have lifted um, and I then went to the rain counter and asked for the night cream equivalent but there isn't one in this specific range so they gave me a sample of the frankincense night cream which I also then used for a couple of days, loved and then bought the full size version but I'm not including it because that was like last I only, week. Yeah, it was last week. I can't <laughs> Technically, it's January. Yeah, it was January. So. <laughs> 2014 favorite. Yeah, 2014 favorite. But yeah, so that Ren kind of skincare duo for me has been phenomenal. However, as I mentioned in the blog post, this is not hydrating enough for girls with dry skin. So I put the hyaluronic acid on first and then my skin feels comfortable and moisturized all day long. Um, masks? masks? <laughs> oh, look. Look at this. <laughs> Uh, Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask to Clear Pores. I, uh, I mean, I don't even know. That's just the best. And the Ren Glycolactic Radiance Re Renewal Mask, which again uses Double AHAs masking. to exfoliate your skin and mm. leave you looking glowy. This sucks all the rubbish out of your pores. Mm. Oh, I just love these. Yeah. I love using them. Masks are my favorite thing. Yeah, mm. These are both fantastic. For all skin types, because I thought that my skin would freak yeah. out particularly with this, but it hasn't. Sometimes, although sometimes when I use it, it, it hurts a bit too much, so I take it off. But it I hurts. Don't, it like really burns. Okay, but other it time, doesn't, like my skin doesn't even, like but, it doesn't even tingle on me. But other times it's like a very light tingle, so I don't know if I'm using it. No, maybe it's just when your skin's yeah, being a bit more sensitive. Know. Your skin is really retarded. So hectic. Um, sunscreen. Sunscreen. You go. Uh, another Juliette Armand uh, favorite of mine, this is the SPF 30, um, love it, smells great, it's tinted, it's, it's quite rich but it hasn't caused any congestion, it's got a, an ingredient called antitox in it which apparently helps the, um, the condition of your skin and I can confirm that all of these products have really helped turn my skin around during the latter half of this year. Um, if you want to buy Juliette Armand, I don't think it's widely available yet, but you can contact Positive Dialogue um, and they will help we'll you. put their details below. Yeah, and they will um, help you get your hands on some. 
Um, I don't use a SPF every day on my face, but that's a story for a different video. Uh, this is the Biodermo Photoderm AKN Matte SPF 30, which is the one I use when I go to the beach. Um, and it's completely mattifying, it's amazing. I mean, I spent my entire life looking for a mattifying face um, SPF, and this is it, and I love it to pieces. What I wear on my lips is the Pisbane mm. In Sun Sun Lipstick. This is the Aloe Vera version, SPF 20. Mm. It's just a really nice lip balm in general, mm. not just for the beach. I mean, mm. you can use it every day. That's, I mean, I that's the best lip one. It's correct. Mm. Um, is it hair now? Yes, can be hair. Oh, no, wait. I have a shower product. Do you have oh, a shower I've got... Product? No, but... I, oh, yeah, I've got a soap. And that stuff? Oh, that's body. It's body. Okay, my most used shower product this year was the Clean On Me Shower Gel from Soap & Glory. Uh, you can now get this at Rubybox. Um, this is the second one from that I've used. I used the whole one already during the year. And it smells delicious and it leaves your skin feeling very moisturized. Mm. It's, oh, it's yum. I love it a bit. Um, my body wash product is um, rather dull but life changing for me because, as I said, um, I can't use anything body wash related. It's a soap from EpiWash and it comes in five variations. There's patchouli, uh, lemongrass, tea tree, neroli and original. And they foam really nicely. They leave your skin super clean, hydrated, don't cause any kind of reaction. Um, and I absolutely love them. You can get them from Dischem and also from Wellness Warehouse in town. Um, that is some of the worst but can, packaging. I know, it's I've terrible ever packaging, seen. but just that smell how like, good it is. I can't smell it through the plastic. Mm. You know me in my nose. Mm. I mean. Look, it's very boring, <laughs> but if, if you have skin like mine the shower and you um, don't want underarm welts, then maybe look into this. <laughs> sure. Um, body care? Body Are we care. On body? I don't have anything for body because I do. I'm really disloyal to body care mm. and I, I've i used so many different ones as you have never repurchased a single one yet so I can't, I don't really have a favorite okay. so let's come and look and okay. dominate this category. Body oil, um, Omega, the Mamma Mia Omega body oil, absolutely love it. I think I bought three this year, this one is actually empty, I need to buy a new one. Oh, super moisturizing, smells like heaven, keeps your, this is probably my favorite product of all time for my body, it just keeps everything so soft. You have this! I know, but I haven't repurchased it, so oh. I don't use it, I don't use it any more than any other uh, of think. my body creams and stuff, okay. I do love it, but I'm sticking to things that I have used a huge amount. Okay, so. then this, obviously I use a lot, which is this Kiehl's Creme Decor um, body lotion, which is also phenomenal, really rich and buttery and yeah. just keeps your skin feeling. And nice. it leaves like a nice sheen yeah. on the skin as well, which is lovely. And then this, I just love it. I don't know really what category it falls into because I only really use it on my chest, which is the Skin and Bones Luxurious Body Oil, which smells delicious. It's completely organic um, and... Mm. I just love the scent and it leaves your skin feeling super moisturized, beautiful kind of glow and I do it's feel... Nice packaging, it's yeah, glass. It's, yeah, it's glass. Um, it, can't get it here, my boyfriend bought it back for me from America and he will continue to bring it back for me because I'm so in love with it. It's expensive, this is $75. Okay. How disgusting. That's why I only use it on my chest, you're supposed to use it everywhere but I'm like one drop, chest, 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 that's all. 